Mike Tirico here on the Rich Eisen Show. And that Lions-Rams game was the second in two nights that you called on uh, NBC, I guess, uh, Family of Networks. Uh, you yeah, streamed, you got it. You yeah. streamed one, uh, and then you broadcast another. Just so you're aware, from my point yes. of view on the couch, you sounded just the same uh, streamed on the internet. Streaming. Or there was straight no through. different streaming experience. Couldn't tell the difference. I will tell you. Couldn't tell I'll the tell difference. you the high, Yeah, there was no difference for, for us. I'll, I'll tell you the one, the one <laughs> funny part of the night for me. I really, I wasn't joking. I had no idea where Taylor Swift, uh, she was right. To spot was. Was. I, I didn't know where it was. I just, I really am looking down the third quarter going, why are these people holding their cell phones up to me and Jason Garrett <laughs> taking pictures? And then they'll kind of do the game. I come back and you look down and go, Oh, wait a minute. It must be Taylor. She must be above us yeah. and until our, our director, Pierre Musa had the camera move. I, I, I didn't know. So it's good to find out. I, I, I came away more informed. And the Peacock audience got a little extra additive bonus for that. For a second, you thought Karma was a boy being streamed on Peacock. Uh, and then you Very learned, good. you learned, you know, that's it. Look at you. you look at, look me. at you. Look at you. Next level, as we used to say back on Sports Center. Oh next my level. Gosh, don't start. As Kilborn used to say, that's next level. To, like, uh, the good show, no post. No post no. for the 11 o'clock Sports Center. <laughs> it's one of the highlight uh, pages. And there'll be no post media. It was a good show. Nice pacing. Good, good night. night. See you later. <laughs> the phone. Uh, the, I'll tell you what, the Chiefs, Rich, it's going to be fascinating watching along the road uh, yeah. i think they're ready for it too they they looked different they looked kind of playoff in tune a little bit uh we met with kelsey the, he feels like there was a little bit extra juice he didn't play the week 18 game didn't go for that another one more thousand yard season i like what what they have and buffalo's defense got beat up in that game on monday it's a short week for them even though they're home so uh, after our game, I'm going to be excited to get to a TV and watch that one. That's going to be, you know, in the history of Mahomes and Allen. They've really built a Manning-Brady-type rivalry. And it'd be great to see one of these games in Orchard Park and see how Mahomes plays up there. Yeah, I started uh, the show on Wednesday, Mike, by saying we've seen Mahomes in every possible role in his career. We've never seen him in the role of road playoff villain. The guy who's going to come in and quiet the crowd and break 80,000 hearts at once, right? Like, we've never seen him do that before. We've seen him break the hearts of half a stadium in a neutral site Super Bowl. Yeah, we've seen that. Right. We saw that last year in Arizona as the Philadelphia Eagles fans were all crying around me in the section I was sitting in. We've never seen him do it. And of all places, it's in western New York where Bills fans yeah. are relishing finally having him in their house for a change. I can't wait exactly. for that. And he's won so many games. I think the record's something like 85 and 25, right? He's won so many good road games, tough environments. Sure. I don't think he's going to blink for a second, right? The question is, how do the other people around him play, right? I know Kelsey's going to play well, as well as he's played over the last few years, whatever that is at this point. You know, how are the other guys going to do on the road in this environment? I speak of the young receivers. Are they going to come up? with the big plays or not, where she rice is a real deal weapon. I, I thought rich, if there was a takeaway from week one of the playoffs, Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Rashi rice, Puka Nakua, a bunch of rookies came in and played at a really high level. We always talk about playoff game and how you're going to deal with it. Man, a bunch walked right in and didn't blink and had just as good a game as they did in the regular season. So something to keep an eye on as we go forward, these guys, don't flinch. They're not worried, and they jump in there and have the big impact as well. And then there was the first game on NBC uh, that uh, that preceded the one on yes. Peacock. Stroud, he's out of his go. And then Jordan uh -huh. Love in Dallas. Right. I don't know if you saw these numbers. This is wild. Right. They have the same exact stats, yeah. Mike, with the exception of Stroud had two more passing yards than Love. Everything They're else crazy. down to the rating is is the same. It's unreal. It is. It's pretty, pretty nuts, right? Pretty <laughs> nuts for first playoff games. Rich, you know it's a copycat league. We talk about that all the time. You guys talk about that <clears throat> on game day morning on a regular basis. When is someone going to look at this and say, you know what? The way to do this is the way Green Bay has. Maybe not sitting for three years. Draft a guy late first round, like your guy, J.J. McCarthy. Right. Like Mike, Michael Penix out of Washington. Let's draft a guy and let him sit for a year. Hmm, let's see the last couple of guys who've done that. Jordan Love looks like it's worked out fabulously. And that's three years, mm -hmm. but also Patrick Mahomes didn't play that whole rookie season. Waited until Alex Smith was finished, played the one game, the meaningless week 17 game at that point, mm -hmm. and has gone on and has looked back. 
maybe instead of throwing the guy in week one, week two, to, uh, listening to the the fervor of the chat, maybe somebody looks and goes, look, oh, Jordan Love, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. There's something in common. We waited, didn't throw him in, and you're benefiting from that. Now, I know the salary cap, and it's easy on a rookie quarterback with a contract and all that stuff. Makes a difference, I'm telling you. There's a reason that they play with the poise that they do once they get their opportunity. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.